Today I'm going to do an unboxing and overview of a product from Novastar called the VX16S. Take a look in the accessory box. We've got a power cord, DVI, HDMI, USB, Ethernet, and the quick start guide. Okay, here it is. Here's the VX16S. Let's go get right into it. The front panel, we've got the power button, and then we've got the USB connection so that you can connect a computer to it and map your wall and change settings with software. Um, we have our input buttons here, which we'll go over on the back of the unit, LCD screen, and then the menu is navigated with the quick click wheel. You press it in to select and scroll up and down by turning the wheel. Escape goes back one menu window. Then you've got um, your main screen there, picture in picture one, picture in picture two, and the scale button. So um, three windows and a scale button. Then you've got presets here, and then this is a programmable button. Taking a look at the back of the unit, there are four DVI inputs. Each DVI input has a max input resolution of 1920 by 1200 at 60 hertz. Um, they are HDCP 1.4 compliant, and you can combine all four sources into one input using DVI, DVI mosaic mode. Also, there's an HDMI 2.0 port right here with a max input resolution of 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz and it is HDCP 2.2 and EDID 1.4 compliant. You'll also notice the two 3G SDI inputs. Each one has a max input resolution of 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hertz. Moving over to the monitor output, it is an HDMI output with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hertz. Um, and then you have your 16 data port LED out set of eight here, set of eight here. Moving over to the control section, we have an ethernet port so that you can connect the processor to your network. Then you're able to control the processor using Novastar's web page control. You have an RS-232 port so that you can cascade multiple devices and use one control surface to control them all. And we also have a way of cascading multiple devices just to be seen in the Novastar software so that you can map all of them at the same time, and that's using these USB ports. The USB type A is the output port, and the USB type B is the input port. Then when you connect them to your Novastar software, you're able to map them all at once. Okay, let's take a look at the menu. First, at the top, you have screen brightness like usual. And then you have screen settings below that. Quick config. Advanced. Remember, I just zoom through these so that you can see what to expect. All right, going back, going to layer settings, main layer. Priority down here. And then your two other, your picture in picture and your, your two picture in picture layers there. Input settings. This is new, haven't seen this before. DVI. Display control. Test patterns, image color, presets, image mosaic, advanced settings, synchronization, advanced functions. I'm just going through every setting on this thing. settings language all right that's it that wasn't too bad that's a quick overview of the vx 16s if you'd like to order one just click the link in the video description or visit buynovastar.com
We also recently made a video with everything you need to know about the Novastar H series processors. If you'd like to see that, either go to our channel or click the link in the video description as well. Thanks.